Warning, this program is intended for adults of legal drinking age. Whiskey is consumed in disgust. The intent is to educate our palates on the differences of whiskey flavors and not an intent to get drunk. Please drink responsibly. Hi, everybody. My name is Andrew Pierce, and welcome to I Fucking Love Whiskey. I fucking love whiskey. As with every week, my co-host, Joseph Limbaugh, is here with me. Joseph? Hi, everybody. I fucking love whiskey. I, I, I changed the mood. Hi, everybody. I, I also, I, I also, um, I fucking love whiskey, and I'm, I'm glad to be here. And we have an, an amazing, amazing guest today. Delightful that's, improviser. That's a lot to live up to right out of the gate. <laughs> he has promised to be our worst and best guest. That uh, part, that part's probably accurate uh, simultaneously somehow. <laughs> uh, it's Trent Trail, everybody. Trent Trail. Hi, everyone. It is like a legit pleasure to be here. I am stoked. Thank you for the invite. I'm so excited for this. This is going to be amazing. I'm I'm so excited to bring the 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 quality of level of your show down a notch i am absolutely happy to do it that is all we can ask of our guests and i I have to reiterate that trent was very excited he was practically dancing when i dropped the whiskey off to him he was just like just shaking just just like a kid on sugar just like it was it was it was egregious it was it was it was embarrassing on my end i think i think i think we get it because here's the thing about me and andrew we fucking love whiskey we fucking love it. We fucking love whiskey. We fucking love whiskey. We fucking love whiskey. We fucking love whiskey. We fucking love it. We fucking love whiskey. We do. We fucking. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> that's where this. That's where the show is going to be today. So that's, that's yeah. how it's going to be. <laughs> Forgive us. Um, I see no reason for us yeah. not to jump into our first whiskey because uh, we can continue this nonsense while sipping this whiskey. Yeah, this true. A sixteen-year-old. Uh, Longmorn. It is SMWS 7.221. It is hopscotch. It was 15 years in next bourbon barrel and then one year in an IPA barrel. Um, Ooh, interesting. Hopscotch. I get it now. You get it? You get it? Hopscotch? So it's it comes SMWS, in. so it's got to be. That's that's an unusual thing for SMWS, isn't it, though? Because like, there's, I'm starting to see those bottles more where um you know maybe they they taste it and they go it needs a little something to push it this way and they they're putting so it did cast. smws put it into a into an ipa barrel i it's unclear it's unclear let's okay. smell this i mean they could have, they could have purchased this from the distillery with that uh with that finish you never know interesting oh we're right we're going we're going oh. we're going okay oh yeah i like i like the smell so this, is a, oh. this is a nice nose. This is a real nice nose. It's just real nice. It's like a room with a grain heaped on the floor. It smells like warm root beer, like a like um, but in a good way. Like a kind of like a root beer float. It smells like a root beer float to me. Oh wow, nice. For 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 half a sec, for half a second there, and this this is this is where this is where my unrefined palate is really gonna shine. But for like half a second, it was like, oh, like a freshly painted room, but in a good way. No, that's that's yeah. great. Yes, that's the, perfect. I love that note. That is like a freshly painted room. But like, but like you said, like in a good way, because a lot of times you go into a like freshly yeah. painted room, it can be overwhelming and obnoxious and make you lightheaded. This yeah. stuff is going to make me lightheaded in all the right ways. Yeah. There's like a really fancy paint. <laughs> painted. It's a painted. Yeah, room. like this is this is this they they splurged on the paint. They went. They went for the, this is, this was not a landlord who bought this paint. This was a homeowner who bought this paint. Yeah. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, that's friendly, but it's got a little kick on the finish. It's, it's, it's that IPA bite. It's that, that. Yeah, that, 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 that comes, the IPA comes, Mm. comes later. At yeah. first, I had like a burst of berry of some kind, but I don't know which one, I think. Yeah, but there's like this organic funk at the end. Yeah. It's not unpleasant, but it is very different. Yeah, and I do like IPAs. That's probably probably one of my favorite beers. Um, I mean, I'm, I guess that means I'm super basic, but 
No, I think if, you know, 10 years ago, IPAs have been your favorite, it would have been unusual, but now just no one's making anything but IPAs. It's just- That's why I'm saying it's, it makes me basic. If, if you know, if you're, if you're like, I like IPAs, it's like, come on. <laughs> it, for, yeah, it, basic. It, it's getting to the point where now, if you like proudly like Natty Light, you're going to be like, you're, that's, that's the hips, the going to be the new hipster vibe. Like yeah, the IPAs would be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you had do, Natty Light though? It, I do feel like like I I like I was really big into IPAs for a while. Like Pilsners now are kind of my are kind of my thing. Mm. Um, is I took a trip yeah. to uh, to Austria and I was like, I mean, you know, you're always trying to chase that flavor when you go you travel, right? Um, Brooke Lassie had a nice comment in the in the chat here. Organic what? funk. Didn't they have a song last summer? Yeah. <laughs> Organic funk. I fucking love whiskey. Do, 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 ba, do, do. Uh, fuck, yeah, something, it went something like that. Right? So, Hello, then. Los Angeles. We all volcanic fun. Are you ready, dude? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's, just, it's so interesting because it has like a, um, I would say blackberries. I think it has like, to, at least nosing it, I get, I, I think I'm getting blackberries. Um, it has like a very accessible um, flavor and nose, but it also has like a bit of an edge to it. It's, um, yeah, get something uh, more bitter uh, than blackberry. Uh, it, it feels like it's a wild berry, like a uh, mm, boysenberry. Berry? Maybe boysenberry or marionberry, something oh. that's like. Or you know what? Marionberry. In Oregon, there's a berry called salmonberry, which are not super sweet. They're like very pink. They look like salmon eggs. Oh. This kind of reminds me of that. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think I have heard of those. I don't think I've ever had them, but I. I think I've seen them somewhere. Probably. You don't normally like eat them much because you're like, these are not delicious. No. no. Boo berry? Boo Frankenberry. No. Bad this, Bodie Cooper. Bad. The taste of Frankenberry. Oh, Bodie Cooper. <laughs> Boo berry? That, that's what it is. Boo berry. That's what it is. Funk Nailed berries. Boo I like funk berries. Uh, that's not it. Boo berry. Um, uh, Little little bit of fun fact: Booberry, my favorite of those cereals was Booberry. My brother liked Count Chocula, but I, he loved he loved everything chocolate. I liked Booberry. I, I liked Lucky Bear. Charms. I loved Lucky Charms too. Yeah, and Captain Captain oh. Crunch. I loved Captain Crunch. That was yeah. You yeah. know what I think has happened is our love of sugary cereals when we were young has turned into our love of alcohol as we're older because yeah. there's a lot of or chemical similarities. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Cracklin' Oat Bran are like my three top cereals. Sorry, was the last one Crack on Oat Bran? Cracklin' Oat Bran. Cracklin' Cracklin' Oat Bran. Oat Bran. Crack on Oat Bran. Okay, yep. Number one delicious sugary cereal though. We all have to, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That is the the, the oh, ultimate. Just the ultimate. Yeah. It's the one. It's the one that just that just never stopped being good. Other sugared yeah. cereals, as, as as you get older, at least for me, it was just like I was like, ah, oh, this is this, this, too sweet. It's too uh -huh. sweet. Cinnamon Toast like Crunch it. is the perfect amount of sweet. The yeah. other thing, like I was gonna say, is like I can drink scotch and like yeah, sometimes I get a bit hungover or whatever if I if I go you know if I if I have too much, but uh, like sugar makes me feel much worse than scotch. Like if I eat sugar, oh. um, like. Yeah, as a kid, I could eat as much sugar as I wanted, and I was fine. But no, oh yeah, no. you would like no problem, like never yeah. really get just stuck. metabolize it instantly. Like oh, you need this. We need three thanks for this, bud. You metabolize it because you'd be running around the house bouncing off walls. Well, I mean, maybe. Yeah. And the scotch does the same thing. So, are, are we sciencing this? What is the percentage here? Fifty percent. Oh. So this is worthy of sciencing. I think I want to try it. I'm going to science it for science. For science. We have exactly. to make we have to make the sacrifices for science. Mm -hmm. I will never ever get tired, although I don't have much in my glass, so it's very hard to see. But I will never get tired of seeing that little swirl that you see in whiskey when you when you do put in a drop of like mm -hmm. of water, of like that like it's, Ooh, like it's like when you put cream in coffee but it's like a ghost doing it i'm not making any sense i'm gonna enjoy this i love it i love it no i i know what you're talking about it's the the change in viscosity uh yeah. as the two liquids mix together right, right now i'm not i'm not really i don't know i'm not so into this nose though um it 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 steers towards the you know um I rock smell more beer meme or something like that you're in a, an old barn and there's some decay 
That decay is coming really forward. I also feel like I smell more of that beer, like that IPA is more in the nose. So maybe that would be to someone's taste, but it is very different. It's sour. It's more sour. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Um, oh, it really, it softens the bite at the end. It really does. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but oh yeah, there's a, there's a nice, interesting, savory taste to this. It's almost like... Dairy it would be sage. Yeah, I almost want to say like uh, I, someone just mentioned cheese in the um, chat, but it does. I was going to say this kind of tastes like a cheese, like a kind of funky cheese. Oh, oh crap! Yeah. Um... What like maybe that? a soft cheese, but like a smelly soft cheese. Yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, cam- yeah, yeah. Like a camembert. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. This is a really interesting scotch. What do the what do the the people oh. over at SMWS have to say about what do they scotch? have to say? Um, I don't have the full one ready because I was not prepared. Oh, and there it's, you. it's one of the old ones that has the freaking oh, it's got the, the, the color, the so you can't text. read the. So, well, give me a second here before they listen to your ample notes that you gave them. Yep, <laughs> a bonkers spectrum of ripe green and tropical fruits underpinned by hops, spices, and assorted sweet treats, previously in a bourbon barrel. Well, that's that's unsatisfying. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, the, the strange fruits or whatever we're tasting, I, I, I would kind of agree with that. And the so green- it was none of the cereals we were talking about, it was Fruit Loops. He said, Tukan Sam, follow your nose, right? Tukan Sam? Follow, Tukan Sam, Tukan Sam? Tukan no, Sam. Follow your nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Follow my nose. It always knows. To the distillery. <laughs> to the distillery. That, that's, when I, that's when I'll follow Toucan Sam. Oh, yeah. Also, that's totally one of those cereals that has, at least for me, when I got older, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is not good anymore. Fruit Loops is not uh, I, Sorry if you're watching Fruit Loops. I apologize. It, it, it just, you know, it's okay. Mm-hmm. We had our time. Yeah, I never really was into Fruit Loops. Also, like Sugar Crisp, never, never liked Sugar Crisp. Oh, I never, I never even, I don't even. Gotta yeah. get this episode of Sugar Crisp. You've yeah. got the German Punch, whatever the little bear. The German Punch? <laughs> yeah, you got the German Punch. Well, yeah, there was, yeah, there was Sugar Crisp. There was Honey Crisp and Cookie Crisp, right? Super Cocoa oh, Crisp. Oh, I don't know, man. And, yeah, just all sugary AF. The um, oh, super sweet. My, I could never get my parents to agree to buying any of the Camp Chocolates or the Lucky Charms with the little marshmallows in it. But Fruit Loops was as exotic as they would go, as, as sugary as they would go. So, <laughs> like, that's, I was, like that's less. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's better. We're, you're eating healthy, all right. You're on a Fruit Loops diet. No more, no more hey, Lucky Charms for at you. Least, at least this one has fruit in it. Yeah, yeah, but as Bodie Cooper points out, it was F R O O T. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. so, there's no real. We don't want to. We don't want to make you think there's any real fruit in here. Just I, you know, in case our lawyers. If I if I recall correctly, for for a period, and maybe they still do, but they were advertising like on the box or whatever. They're like, it's got vitamin C in there somewhere. <laughs> like, vitamin C, the lowest bar of vitamins. Right. It's like, like it's just it's like oh well, well you know like everything has vitamin C in it. Like oh, we'll put some. <laughs> Squirt some lemon juice in it. Vitamin C, we did it. This will prevent scurvy. That's what we can do with our cereal. The perfect cereal for pirates. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh whiskey uh, numero dos. All right. Numero the, dos. I'm kind of excited about this one too because you don't often see uh, single cask expressions from Brook Laddie, but this is a 12 year old and it's probably a bourbon cask. They don't say what kind of cask it was. Um, yeah, 12 years old, distilled in 2005, and it's 56%. That's about all you get to know. The Alexander Murray, they should label their uh, bottles better. Independent bottler. Did you get this from KNL or? Yes, this is a KNL exclusive. Exclusive KNL. Uh, but kind of excited. Haven't tasted this one yet. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a fruity floral bouquet of delight that is. That's like a super floral, super floral. 
feel like I'm walking through a flower shop simultaneously yeah. and like, but there's like also they're making like those fruit bouquets where they cut up like all sorts of different fruits. And I feel like yeah, someone is cooking there's, something just over here. There's, there's, some there's a bit of smoke in the back. Yeah. Fish or something. Yeah. Yeah, like that. My 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 initial thing was like walking through like a like a flower meadow or something like that, like a meadow with like where it's just a bunch of a very there's a, that now once again in a good way. There's a hint of like the elephant cage at the zoo, like in the very back, like just a hint of <laughs> that. That's maybe it's the straw or something like that. I get tobacco. I almost get tobacco, okay. not 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 lit tobacco, but just you know dry tobacco leaves. Yeah, I could see that with my nose. I can see it with my nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like Toucan Sam. <laughs> he follows, how does he do it? How does he follow his nose? Oh, he nose. follows his nose nose. It always knows. Yeah. What would your nose know if your nose knew, you know? Follow your nose, man. Yeah. But Fossey, are you trying this one at home? Do you have this one? Someone smacked me over the head with a grocery store bouquet of flowers in the dairy aisle. Yeah. 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 I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, she is <laughs> dying tobacco leaves in the elephant florist shop. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to. I'm going to taste this. I want to. I want to see what yeah, this is all about. Oh, huh. oh, very subtle. Oh yes. Oh, but you know what? Spicy. Wow, I the classic laddie. I can see roots of the classic laddie in this. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's really nice. But an interesting, it's an interesting direction. There's, it's not as sweet. There's like a more of a, it's like a savory sort of spicy um, kind of taste. Right, I because wanna... they blend in like, because uh, they, they publish their recipes now as much as they possibly can for the classic laddie. And they blend in a lot of like uh, white wine casks into it. I'm getting more of that tobacco now that I've tasted it. Like that tobacco is really coming out. Also all... like a bit of clove, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I was also going to say like just the slightest touch of like black licorice for me. Yeah. Like oh, maybe. That, yeah. that like, but it's like, it's so like in the back, but, but like it was something that I was trying to wrap my head around. And I think that's what it, it is, but it's like way back there. Hey, Trent Trail, let's, um, let, let's plug your show later on. How, how is oh, yeah. this going to prepare you for your show this evening? Oh, it's not. Okay, good. We don't have a show tonight. We thought, we thought we did, but we don't. Oh, so it it uh, it will it will not be preparing me for the show tonight. Although tomorrow, here on Outpost Thirteen, I am also guesting on the Pug Hour. I'm not going to watch that. Okay, all right. That's that's fair. I understand. Why, why not? Just Trent. He's really he's really annoying. Andrew Andrew gets it. Andrew gets it. <laughs> Well, of course I'm tuning into that. Are you kidding me? Trent Trail improvising with with uh, another group of uh, terrific improvisers? Yeah, I want to see that. Heck yeah. yeah. I mean, so far he's been our best guest. I don't know if he's been our worst guest yet. No, uh, yeah. Give me, give me time. <laughs> give me time. I mean, we still got a I little mean, over half the episode. Yeah, we, the thing got, is, got, every yeah. guest is our best guest. So don't, you know, I don't want to, I want to put any guest above any other because they're all. Um, awesome, and but. every whiskey is our best whiskey. I'm going to say That's this not is not true. This isn't, this is whiskey. Oh, this is great. My favorite whiskey okay. tonight. This is my favorite whiskey. This is not my favorite tonight, but uh, I, I see why, why you would like, you're a big, uh, you love the classic laddie. So. I, I love the classic laddie. And uh, we have an extra <laughs> a little <laughs> button. A little print approved. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he approves this one or not, but yeah, I, I said it for him. Yeah. Well, no, Kelly, Kelly, uh, Kelly Sue, uh, you were our best guess. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Trent's coming close. He's he's equaling you. It's it's a category, not a not an exclusive position. With every with every minute of broadcast, Kelly, I am shortening the gap. <laughs> and at the end of the program, at very least, we will be tied. Oh, and Brooke Lassie, yes, of course, you're also our best guest. And, and uh, let's go through it. Moody Coop, Moody Cooper, you are. And Geek Filter, and uh, and uh, CEO Evilcast, and uh, McCready, and uh, um, yeah, y'all, you're all the best. I mean, I did say that that every guest was our was our best guest. So I just I just wanted to make sure we kind of went through the list here. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the, that's the smart move. That's 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 due, that's due diligence. That's I mean, it's, it's smart. Smart, smart. 
I mean, we do every week say that several whiskeys are our favorite whiskey. So, I mean, it fits the theme. <laughs> it Why fits not? The theme. Why not apply that principle to guests? Why not? <laughs> now, in the finish, there's a little bit of leaded gasoline. Like, I'm not not gasoline right now, but gasoline back when it still had lead in it. That kind of aroma, <laughs> in a good way, of course. Well, there was it, it was all that that also has that same like gasoline has that same thing where it's like if you just get a tiny essence, at least for me, like it kind of smells good. But then once you get like if you really get hit with the fumes, then you're like, oh god, it's too much. No, no, I don't, I shouldn't be driving. Oh hey, Becca B's just joining the chat. She's she was our best guest. <laughs> I mean, she really was. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I feel like we should, like, I want to list off other stuff, like, that's, that's not, that's from bad stuff from the past, like, oh, I, I taste this bestos in here, <laughs> just a hint of, just a hint, just a hint of his bestos, oh, and just lead a, poisoning, just such a touch of lead. Soup saw, just a soup saw of lead poisoning, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. A little DMT, you, you smell the DMT in that? You guys, are you guys getting are you guys getting just a hint of anthrax? Are you getting just 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 the tiniest? <laughs> but like the old anthrax, not the new yeah, 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 yeah. stuff. Yeah. The old stuff, not the new mass manufactured, like you know, yeah. artisan crafted stuff. The old yeah, when it was janky like, anthrax. Yeah, the janky, the jank thrax. The stuff um, that we grew up with. What's the plan? I'm gonna all science it because I know um, okay. I know Andrew loves science? the stuff. You don't have to. You don't have to, Andrew. I like it. I'm I'm interested to see what it does. So yeah, I'm not. I know. I'm you, gonna... you love it. So I'm all you about Mary. I'm, so. I'm all about the science. I'm going two drops because I'm crazy. Wow. Whoa. Whoa back science. off there, Trent Trail. You're but now I, our you, worst you guest. You can't take it out. Trent. You're now you our can't. worst guest. Yeah. That's, wow. That's what it was. I told you I'd do it. Oh, I kind of like what it's doing. It's interesting. Once again, this is these are both have been very interesting. I like what it's doing, but it's different. Oh, it's like a bit more edgy. Okay, I'm gonna. I am gonna try it. Like the smell. The smell. It was interesting. What, for me when I added when I added the water, the smell got a little harsher. Yeah. But the drink got the drink got smoother for me. Which is interesting. I don't. I don't know how to explain that. I mean, I don't know how to explain anything I'm saying when I'm talking. No, um, I mean, it's science. How can no one can explain science? science no one can. Science is just like magic, right? No one can explain it. That's that's what I learned from Thor, and I have I have I have clung on to that philosophy ever since. I I agree with you, Trent. I do feel like the the drink is smoother. This is more like this more is more like a classic. Uh, classic laddie to me in the taste. No. no. Oh, see no evil cast wants an overhead camera. So here I'll I'll do this. Oh. It's <laughs> ah. <laughs> that close? <laughs> okay, fair. Probably not. Oh. Whoever whoever Major Paul is, thank you. Oh. Hey Major Paul. Hey Major Paul, thanks for that. Uh, Major, Major Paul. Paul. Major Major Paul gifted a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, subscriptions. Major Paul's going to be on the show actually next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he dropped by this morning to pick up his uh, his little package of happy whiskeys. Happy whiskeys. Basically, Ground that's control. it's redundant. You should just call him whiskeys. Ground control to Major Paul. I'm not proud of myself. Mm -mm. We're proud for you. Thank you. And, and Trent, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a while, if I can. Oh, yes. Um, I fucking love whiskey. Okay, so. I don't now, know if you know this. There's a counter that, now, on the, on, there's a counter on the, on the thing. And now that you I've, broke the, now that you've broken the dam, I have my own confession. Dad didn't like that so much. He gave you a minus one. Oh, no, he didn't. You have a minus two. Oh wait, I haven't even looked. What's the, what's the counter? Yours is two, two pure and, oh. and un, untarnished. <laughs> I fucking love whiskeys. Ours are like, oh, you're playing this game, you <laughs> fucking mercenaries, trying to win some game. You don't love whiskey. You love the sound of your voice saying you love whiskey. 
There's room for and he's both right. loves. He's There's right. room for both. Right? That is right. I, I mean, I, I, I definitely have a confession. I also fucking love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> and... For the I mean, if you get one for that, that was uh, that was surprising, whiskey. and I loved it. I feel like that's worth a fucking love whiskey. I think, <laughs> but I also fucking love whiskey. Oh, I knew that. I suspected it. Stuff is magic. It really is. Water of life, baby. Water, um, of, water life. of life. <clears throat> Aqua vitae, as the Romans said. Um. Oh, man, we still got some time on this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna Wait, hang. All on. right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to it a little bit then, a little bit, just a little bit. Put a little more in there. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, we got a hype train going. Fantastic! Nice. Thank what, you, Sue. Oh, what's a hype train? I don't even know. I actually don't know what a hype train is. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea either, except that we're on one. Yes. Apparently, enough people have cheered bits that it gets a hype train going. Whatever that is. You've got to be yet? like you've got to be under twenty to understand what a hype train is. I think that's probably there's no game. one over right. no one over twenty can understand it. Right. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Well, let me just say chug a choo choo. You know what the sweetness <laughs> with water, the sweetness is knocked down. Um, yes. You know, in the nose, I get more of the fire notes. In in the the taste, it's. Um, it is it is closer to like what you'd expect a scotch to be kind of that multi um fire i think i i don't dislike it with water but i think i prefer it without water yeah i kind of feel the same way about both of these like i wouldn't necessarily put water in either of them but it's worth trying because it's interesting but like don't like you know once again for science for science yeah hey, for you, posterity right? yeah <laughs> uh, what is y the baby thing, thing? I, I feel like I missed part of a conversation. I, th I don't know. Don just dropped in and... Oh, I see. Two men and a smooth-faced baby. Maybe talking about <laughs> Brent or you. I don't know. Either way, it feels hurtful. I don't think so. <laughs> it could go either way. What is the baby saying? Hey! Ba -ba -ba -da -da I mean, if what is now time for whiskey number three? Number this three. Is this very this sort of is the most... Very light in color. It is a huge output distillery. It's run by about eight people, and this is an eight-year-old whiskey. Um, Coalila, it's it's completely automated. It puts out a crap ton, a metric crap ton, because they're in Scotland, uh, of whiskey every year. It's the peated component of almost every blend you're going to have out there. So I'm 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 very excited for this one as well. Old particular. I, my very uh, the first time I ever had any uh, uh, Coalila was in Edinburgh. Um, me and my friends uh, went to uh, a local bar and uh, was like just talking to the bartender and he was asking like what kind of do you like he's like here try this and tried it is fantastic I highly doubt is the exact same bottle but I'm just stoked because it's good stuff yeah it's, it's, it's good stuff the same bottle definitely not yeah hey, they um, made more <laughs> but they put out like someone in the chat can correct me but it's like 15 billion liters of alcohol a year no, oh okay. wow! It's really not that, but it's a it's a damn high number. <laughs> I would have believed it. I was ready to believe it. I'm like, that's, I've heard, that's a lot. I've heard you could replace the Atlantic Ocean with the amount of with the amount. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a right minute! Now this is my favorite whiskey. I don't I don't need to even taste it. I can just from the smell. Holy! Oh, crap. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna get on that hype train. This is my favorite whiskey too. Oh, I'm, I'm hyping that. Oh my god, that smoky, smokety smoke! My lord. But, but you know not, what? Uh, but it's not like it's not like full campfire smoke. Like no, this is like it's it's got it's got a really like great balance. It's like you're burning some sort of very special magical wood. Like it's like you're it's like you've taken your your grandmother's you know um, like uh, bedside table. Like it's a fancy antique bedside table, and she, you know and 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 in memory of her, you're like this is her favorite bedside table, and you've burned it on a campfire. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. And the perfume that she wore every day for her and life her face is soaked into the wood. Her, her face cream is in there too. Did you say her face cream? Face her face cream. Yeah, this is the smell of like this is like you know, it's like this is this campfire is is for my grandmother, like to her, you know, and she and all Joseph's she, grandma. All she did. 
I was gonna say like burning wood from Fangorn Forest. So that I was way, I was way. Could, I was could way be out. that too. It's a fancy wood though. It's like, it's a, yeah. like like the magical mystical wood thing is 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 fantastic. It was an antique, but no one is going to love it as much as my grandma did. And then for yeah. her, for her, I burn it. It's like it's and, like and plus it was covered in face cream. I mean, like no one wants that. It's like her Viking funeral, you know. <laughs> Like that's I mean, what she wants. That's what she wanted. I'm getting, I'm getting notes of oil of Olay and uh, uh, maybe it's Maybelline. I'm not sure on the other part. Oh, that's pretty good. Burning the magic wands of the Aurors who fought he who must not be named. You mean Voldemort, dude? Come oh. on, man. Come on, say his name. Be Ooh, yeah, don't, don't be afraid of his name. His name's Voldemort. Don't fear him. Grow a pair of ovaries, man. When, when you, when, yes, when you. When you when you do that, you give him power. No, you say his name. You don't fear his name. Yeah, you don't fear his name. Voldemort. Also, as a fellow, Voldemort. As a, look, as a do fellow, not say Candyman three times. Oh God, do not do do not invoke that evil. Tom Riddle, that punk. Fact. Exactly. I mean, here's the thing. As a as a fellow Slytherin, was Voldemort mighty and powerful? Absolutely. But he was a fool. He was highly intelligent, but he was a fool. Yeah. Back to whiskey. Once again, my favorite whiskey. Yeah, this is this is this is my favorite of the night by far. Absolutely. Wow. Listen, if you can see a bottle of Colila out there, um, and right now KL has a $69 bottle of uh something called Isla Straight. It's from Coley. It's it's Colila, it's been teaspooned, and it is wonderful, it is amazing. There it is, there it is, the 10-year-old. It is so good. So get this. that's something you can get from Colila right now and taste kind of something close to what we're tasting right now yeah and it's there like, you go knl you should sponsor us just like random.org sponsors us random.org we got your random so the last the last thing that just popped in my head as i was taking as i was taking my last sip as far as like old old wood or whatever was like oh it's a pirate ship at sea it's like an old pirate ship at sea like yeah like yeah i don't know I, i've never tasted a pirate ship at sea i want to be i want to be honest i don't want to lie to the audience but that's what popped in my head and i well, like it and i'm sticking with it, it is kind of like the more extreme version of swabbing the deck where you have to swab the deck with your tongue like that is you know <laughs> right when you really effed up yeah it's like oh, yeah, 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 fun. hey you get out there and swab the deck with your tongue you fool <laughs> There being oh, more Easter that, coming in. Look, look, anybody out there watching like that, you don't get to, that idea anymore. That's Joseph's. He gets to put that in a screenplay somewhere or something. Like he gets to use that. Oh. I've never seen that anywhere of a pirate being punished by having to lick the deck. The deck. That belongs to Joseph. Yep. Don't Thanks. swab it. Lick it. I think that's yeah. hold on while I put that into my file. Yeah. Originally, that's what Merrill uh or not Merrill, um, Glenn Close oh. was gonna have to do. But then they changed it and put her in the boo box instead. I, here's here's the taste. <laughs> I've lost language. It's really good. This one's really good. And you know what? Like after this, we've got a Lafroig. So this is oh, yeah. yeah. going to be a strong finish, my friends. A cask strength oh, yeah. Lafroig to finish this. Oh, off. sign so me up. So exciting. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, the, the random.org does not really sponsor us. Uh, no, I keep trying. trying for it, but yeah. Well, I mean, we use their random every every week on the show. <laughs> I mean, they select the whiskeys for us. So there it is, sponsored by random.org. See, it's got a question mark. A question mark, because we're not officially. Uh, we're proposing like it. We're proposing it. If you want random, that's the place to go. Yeah. I mean, we do worship Ariok, Lord of Chaos. What is it? <laughs> What is it? What is it? Uh, Colbert always used to do on the Colbert show, where he's like, "Free money, please." <laughs> Random.com, money. We please. just we just want someone to send us a bottle of scotch, any scotch really, or or whiskey, any whiskey really. Yeah. That's we will taste it on the show, and we will say wonderful, glowing things about it, like we're doing with all these whiskeys. Yeah. yeah, has has Flavia has I love whiskey? I don't know how to pronounce it, but as if the fact that Flaviar doesn't sponsor you is egregious. Flaviar, I'm Flaviar. I'm looking at you. Get your act together, your publicity department, your PR team, and get in here and sponsor something and get a boom from it. Come on, get a boom from it. Boom yeah. goes the dynamite. Boom goes the whiskey dynamite. Hi, Mo. Oh, this is so good. I don't want to science it though. Uh, I don't want to science it either. 
I, I think I have to just because I'm just a curious person, but I think I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave very little to do so. There is a hint of this, like, like there's a pine forest. Like, I feel like this house is literally just living in a pine forest. Totally. Like, I just, I keep going back to like a forest to like, I, like I am an ant and that's how I live in the forest. Like I live in an open, I live in like freaking you know, um, the tree beard's house where it's just like an open valley with like a bunch of trees. Like that's where I live. And I stand there. This is my, like, that's the house that this is, is a, is a forest. And it's like, and you walk outside and you get that smell, the like moss is all over the ground and over rocks. And like, you just, you get that, that deep forest smell. Like that's, that's, yeah. that's what this is in a glass. Pine resin, Oregon. Pine resin. Great. Yes. So, you know, the, the thing you don't taste ever is the, um, an orange that you've put in the oven and you've roasted it until it's kind of caramelized its, uh, uh, its sugars. And then you eat that. And I think that's the finish. Mm. Roasted wow. orange, which is, which is not a thing, I don't think. I've, no, I've it, it absolutely it. is. I've never had it, but I would, I mean, I'd love, I would love to try it. Because, yeah, no, I was reading an article recently about um, people who've lost their sense of smell because so many people have because of the coronavirus um, and gaining it back. And uh, like, and it's like this, this, you can like, it's like a therapy where every day you try to smell things until you get your sense of smell back, you know, and, and but it's like a, a constant effort. And one of the things that like you try to find is a, is a smell that's connected um, to a memory or like a strong you know, a strong emotional response you had. And, and the person who wrote the article was talking about how like, ro like roasted oranges, which I've never had. I've never roasted an orange. I didn't even know about it until I read that. And then, and then Andrew talked about it, but I just, it's, I do want to try it now, but it is, it is like that. It was like a big deal apparently for a while to roast an orange. And then I, taste I, it. I, so. I had never heard of that. So that's why I, I did not think it was a thing, but that's what it, that's what the taste evoked in my stupid little head. Yeah. Yeah. And you know why I have a theory as to why that is. It's probably because I fucking love whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so here's come here's, on, come on, put him down to minus one. Come on, that was pretty good. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm I'm that, advocating that was, for Andrew now. That one was pretty that, that, that I mean was even, pretty good. I'm a guess, but I'll even say like that was like that was yeah. I'm all right. I'll, so I'll, I'll throw this out there when I when, with the with the science. The it it mellowed everything out. And the only, the only thing that I, and this is, this is so weird to me. And I, once again, I put no stock into my own palate because I think my palate's garbage, but specifically just a hint of poblano pepper Ooh. with, with that came, that came into me. Like, it was like, I was just like, okay, there's something, some kind of, some kind of pepper, not a bell pepper, not, no, not. Oh, that's pepper. really good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I, I like, even without poblano. the science, I'm getting some poblano pepper. That's, I, um, I can get that in the taste now. Now that you've said that, yeah, those little little peppers that you, yeah, like you know uh, what I mean, like the, like not not the not the not the super spicy ones, right? You know what I mean, but and and not 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 mellow like a bell, but something with like just 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 a, well, the poblano is like the kind of longer one, right? The darker green, a little bit longer. It, like you use them to make um uh what is it uh chili chili rellenos have that's what you use uh, poblano peppers yes. for that. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, slightly uh, spicy. They're slightly Trent spicy. Trent Kelly is calling you out for your uh, dissing your palate because that <laughs> yeah. that is a professional. Yeah, you that movie. was yeah you, you nailed it, dude. Like there's no yeah. Come on, man. Well, it's been a great night. I'm gonna retire, everyone. I'm going out on top. It's been a pleasure. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these whiskeys. Trent, oh, Trent, you're not gonna say for the final Trent, whiskey. Yeah, you are the worst guest ever again. I mean, Told you. <laughs> it's Lafroig. It's Lafroig, Trent. Oh, oh, Lefroy. that's right. Never mind. I'm sticking around. Stay around for that. Okay. Sticking around. Um, Oh man, this is good. We still we still got what five minutes on this one, right? Oh yeah, we got time. I'm going. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back because uh, why wouldn't like, you? This is this why is you? absolutely this is absolutely my favorite. I have not scienced it, uh, Andrew. Do you think I should? Um, did I, I science it? Yeah. Hang on, I haven't tasted it yet. Uh, the nose. I, this is. I mean, it's bonkers. It goes backwards to everything we know about putting water in it. The nose goes away when I put water in it. That doesn't make sense. It should come out more. It should absolutely come out. Yeah, more. yeah. The the water the water mellowed everything out for me, with the exception of what got me to 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 taste the poblano. Yeah, I don't know that that that's something I would be interested in. No, don't do it. it it's yeah. I like it. I like it better like this. It's with, soft with and. 
yeah, no, uh, everything special went away with water. Do not put water in it. Yeah. Which is also like, and if I'm reading it's like, so this is almost 60%, it's 58.3. That's amazingly smooth for something that's pushing 60%. Well, I feel sure like the, the first two- water in it? It I feel is like, like the water. first two were were more harsh than this one is. Like yes. I, they seem like they had more alcohol than this one did. They both totally. had a bite. This one does not. Yeah, hundred percent. And it might be because they like you know they acclim uh, acclimatize me a, a bit, but um, I don't know. Fucking love whiskey. Yeah, yeah. It's fascinating to me that this is the strongest one we've tried tonight, and yet it's absolutely the smoothest one we've tried, even with without putting any water in it. It really speaks to that old joke where, um, you know, uh, in an old show, a drunk would take a shot of uh, uh, booze and go, <laughs> right? It's that, that's the, that's the classic joke, isn't it? Isn't it really? I'll say I yes. Mean, I tell it, I tell it weekly. Weekly. Uh, this, this just makes me happy. It's <laughs> This so makes me happy. This gives me such joy. Oh, I fucking love whiskey. See, that's the way that to like do it. A, pure. That's pure and fresh, and like not like the jaded way Andrew and I. No. Yeah, that was that was that felt honest. We're catering. It we're was clearly, we're, it was, we're clearly, we're clearly, clearly. It really was. It truly was honest. I won't lie. It was honest. <laughs> it was good. I mean, I mean, you're way in the lead, right? I very. I feel very happy. I'm back to zero. <laughs> I think it's very generous of that. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you're back, you're, you're I was your advocate. I'm checking. Oh yeah, Joseph, you're still, you're still, uh, you're still in the red. Nah, I'm not. I mean, I know in my heart I fucking love whiskey, so I don't really, I don't really give a shit what the I don't score need, says. I don't need. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't need, need a score to tell me I fucking love whiskey because I don't need to be. I do. I don't need to be justified. Yeah. Hey, hey uh, we haven't checked in with Thad yet, and uh, he is tasting along oh, with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buddy, uh, what, what buddy you you've been taking all along, right? Yeah, yeah, all along, you know, what, just chilling. What do, think, what do you think? Uh, I think I fucking love whiskey, so, you yeah. know. <laughs> Where, where's give your scorecard? You no, no, Thad's not allowed to give himself a scorecard. He's the I'm giving, I'm giving Thad a point. Thad, you get a point from me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> that's that's fair. Back, Thad, you if, if Trent gives you a point, then I, I feel like that's fair. That's um... I like this. I, I think I'm. Uh, My official seal of approval. Yes, I am honored. There you go. I've never had a seal of approval before. You, you do now. I kind of want to know what you think of all of them so far, like a quick rundown yeah. of all three, because they were so interesting. Well, because I didn't really eat much before the show, I don't remember the first two. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. Uh -oh. going with this one. <laughs> the instructions were explicit. Those are for the guests. They're not for the hosts. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm slowly getting too acclimated to Pete, and I might need to stop drinking Pete whiskeys for a little while because I do not get much uh, Pete on the nose. Like, not much smokiness, not much Pete on the nose, which is very, A, weird for a Cal Calila, but also, like, I can taste it just fine. Like, I can taste sure, it. So, check in with me on the Lafroig, and then we'll see. <laughs> okay okay um I, i'm i i do not ever want to hear you say i might have to forswear uh peated whiskeys ever again thad i know I'm, no no I'm, I'll, I'll keep on drinking them but like i miss the smell of pete you know it's such a delightful smell you're not wrong i fucking love pete <laughs> uh you know thad, okay. thad will be a guest on our show at one point um but we'll have to have a guest tech uh, person. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, what was I just going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, that reminded that he didn't hardly eat anything before. I was laughing at, uh, there's a stand-up special I saw years ago that Paul F. Tompkins did. And he was talking about like how he would, at least back then, he would drink a lot. And people would be like, how do you stand up and function? He's like, I have very specific rules. And he kept like, blast and he goes but most importantly for god's sake eat something 
And then, and then he even, and then just like the, and then he, that's how he even ended the special when he goes, he's like, and anyways, and once again, let me just reiterate, for God's sake, eat something. Have you heard his bit? I think it's Paul F. Thompson. It is a bit about like uh, uh, the joke nut can, the can of joke nuts. You look it up. It is so, it is. Oh, I need to look it up. It's so funny. Like, I think it just might be an audio. Like, I don't know if there's a video of it, but it is hilarious. Him talking about like. How, oh, how like, yeah, you know what? People love to get is a big container of not like the whole thing <laughs> is so well done. Oh, that's great. I love oh, that. I need, I need, I need, I need to look it up. Yeah, I know you do. You really do. Do you guys uh, know what time it is? Is it LeFroig time? It is. I fucking love whiskey. It's LeFroig time. It's LeFroig time. A 10 year old. This is uh, batch 11. Right now, batch 12 is out at KNL. You can get it there for 80 bucks so it's a little steep um but what they do is cats it's cask strength so they they take a bunch of casks that are 10 years old and they bat them together and put it out at that strength this is 58.6 percent by volume Ooh. um i may like it i've uh, just slightly just slightly stronger than than the last one than the coal island three percent we, we do always go up in in alcohol content that's oh, okay well that seems that seems responsible and yeah. smart and, and well it's also like i think it's useful for tasting like it's if you're gonna yes. have a tasting like it's it's just it helps to put them in that order right like like i, I said like if you're gonna come into this uh later in the week because you've got a little bit more in your in your bottle um don't go to this first right take take some of the banknote warm up with that uh, get your taste buds and and uh, ready for it because I think this is going to be something fun. Yeah, just like just like when you do wine tasting and you usually start with the whites, <clears throat> and, you, and then you usually get like a rosé, and then you start going into the reds, and then even the reds are getting stronger as you go along. So like you're ending on like a Syrah and a Cab, mm-hmm. right? Yes, but wine is trash anyway. <laughs> I like wine. I'm joking. Too, I'm joking. I do. I actually do. Lo- I do enjoy wine. I just want. I'm just. I'm just getting. Yeah, but you don't fucking great. love it. That no. was great. Though. No, but well, you know what I do love? I fucking love Freud. Nicely oh, done. You, you should get that. I'd give him a point for that. Oh my! That god. was creative, you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, you guys! <sighs> Holy shit, you guys! Ah, God in heaven. It is. This is a subtle peat for for Lafroig right now, or is it because yeah. I just had the coleola? I don't know. So much, I, you know what? Not so much campfire as it is lumberyard for me. So far, this is my favorite Lafroig, which is saying a lot. Like this is yeah. an amazing nose. On I've never. Yeah, I was I was straight accepting I was straight expecting campfire, and instead it's like I'm going into the lumber section at Home Depot. Thanks, which is an amazing smell. Or it's just like I've refurnished all of this. Like I've refurbished it. I've like I've stained it. Like I've stained this entire room of fancy. Oh rooms. yeah, there's a there's a hint of stain in here as well. But and then going back to what you said, in a good freshly room. cut pine. Just there, like there's a sawdust sawdust everywhere. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Exactly. Same thing. Like if you go into like uh like uh, like like your dad's shed and and the ground is covered with sawdust. Uh, you you you. Oh man, alive. Pat, are you smelling this? What do you smell? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you all. It's uh, very, very woody. Um, not much peat, unfortunately. <laughs> no, but, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, for, for you me, got your sabbatical right here. For for me, it's more of a cedar chest chest uh, wood. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, like yeah, a little bit of that cedar in there. I found the peat. Did you taste it? I found the peat in the taste. Holy oh yeah, golly! That's, wow, that's in there. Wow. Oh my god, this is my wow, favorite whiskey. Wow, that's my favorite whiskey. This is my favorite whiskey. This is definitely this is absolutely my favorite whiskey of the night. The fact that it smells like that and then tastes like that—that's remarkable. So good. Oh my, oh God, my, that's good. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this is why I fucking love whiskey is that it can surprise you. Like Lafroy, you, you think, you know, Lafroy, you, you've had Lafroy, you've had hundreds of Lafroy's maybe at least 10 anyway. Um, and 
you come to this and you think, oh yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I get what it's going to be. And then you taste it. And it's like, no, what happened with these casks? Why is this yeah. transcendent? And Technobot, I do not say that to all the whiskeys. I say it to more than one for sure. <laughs> but I definitely, I definitely don't say that every whiskey is my favorite whiskey. Yeah. I mean, I pretty say. close, but still. No, it's not. Everyone. It's less than 50%, Andrew. <laughs> Usually, you, my, my probably less than my rule of thumb is most whiskeys that are currently in front of me are are front runners for my favorite whiskey. But then that can change so quickly. Just when another whiskey is put in front of me. When another whiskey is put in front of me, like, oh, well, now this is my favorite. This glass specifically in the universe is my favorite glass of whiskey. But if 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 Kelly's is still in the audience, I'll sometimes like look across and be like, oh, no, I, I want your whiskey instead. Give it to me. <laughs> Oh, and she doesn't because she knows better by now. She's smarter. This yeah. is this is one of those whiskeys I could just sit in this nose forever. To me, this is the quint quintessential smell of Oregon. To me, like the the pine forests, the like the the there's a there's a, like a, a theme park. Like very, I, very. I, I, and I say that with air quotes in near Portland called the Enchanted Forest. This reminds me of the Enchanted Forest, except for if it was like as upscale or more so than Disneyland. It's not, but. Yeah, so there's there's also a theme park in Washington State. So it's definitely like that Pacific Northwest thing that is called Enchanted Village. Yeah. And I, oh, I, wonder, I wonder, I wonder if they like the same. I wonder if it's like the same uh, like yeah. chain, or if they like saw that Portland had the Enchanted Forest. It's yeah. actually not near Portland. It's like I think an hour hour out. But yeah, yeah. This one, this one, I, I'm totally brain farting on the city that 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 park. Uh, lives in um i don't even want to like taste this again like the nose is so good i could sit in a bar for like an hour and just yeah it's absolutely like one of those smells that you just walk into and you're like i just want to live here i just want to live here yeah this it, is it's this um is... here's my attempt at the, at the smell it's a log that has been knitted a sweater <laughs> and and it has a piece of sponge toffee on top of it this is a this is a um, this is a house that is like a, a not a log cabin, but it's kind of like what the uh, the California Hotel at Disneyland would be if it was a real place out in a wooded a real wooded area. Like this is like a this is like an expansive ranch, like the Cartwright Ranch, like not a ranch that's you know in like in Texas or something, but a ranch that's in the woods and. Um, yeah, and it's you're surrounded by trees, and there's there's like everything. There's lumberjacks, there's horses, there's cows, but it's like uh, also yeah. Joseph, you're speaking my language because the Grand Californian Hotel is like one of my favorite hotels in the entire world. Every restaurant in that freaking hotel is amazing, and it's one of the things that like I miss about quarantine is I can't go to like that that specific place, you know? Yeah, for reals. Oh, I miss it so much. But so I, I, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're, close. we're almost there. So close. Um, uh, uh, it, for me, it's the cedar chest with the wool inside of it. Like that's the sweater on the log. It's it's that kind of really nice, um, light knit sweater. It is it is fresh wool. This is a sweater that hasn't been together for very long. The wool has just been, oh, it's yeah. I feel like I'm sitting in the fanciest log cabin. Like it's a log cabin, but it's like super upscale. It also kind of reminds me of there's a um, there's a lodge on Mount Hood in Oregon called. Um, uh timber something i don't remember but it's like this really fancy like lodge up on mount hood um hi i see no evil cast we love you stay safe oh yeah man good to good to see you 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 know what i mean the see yeah yeah but hey good night brother good to see you man um yeah, it's almost, and the thing, and along with that log cabin, like something that I'm getting at the very end and going back to like, but like, a, like somebody to me, like I'm also getting a hint, like somebody's smoking a pipe tobacco somewhere in that cabin somewhere. Like yeah, not, a little bit. Not aggressive, not aggressive, but there's just like one person. And so there's just a hint of that in the air. Now I'm conflicted about sciencing this because I do feel like with something this strong, like sciencing could be could be useful, but also it's so good, like I don't want to take the risk, you yeah. know. But I think the risk is small. My you know? is that like exactly. a and my my curiosity my curiosity outweighs my um discretion. Yeah, or yeah, or my my uh my reservations of it. My curiosity outweighs my reservations. You're so brave. 
I, you know, I'm glad someone else said it. I didn't want to have to. Trent Trail, the bravest man. But, but it, that, it does not, that does not always work out in my favor where my curiosity uh, wins out. Um, most notably, um, on a trip I went to Orlando a few years ago and went to Universal Studios and I was insistent that I would never ride the Jimmy Fallon ride. Is there a Jimmy? No, there isn't. There's a Jimmy Fallon ride. And I was so insistent that I wouldn't ride it because I was like, it just shouldn't even exist. I agree. And then I get there and my curiosity outweighs my discretion and I wrote it and I wish I hadn't. It was hot garbage. It was one of the worst rides. I mean, Superstar Limo still takes the title for worst ride I've ever ridden. Wait, Superstar Limo, Limo, is that the one that was in um, the uh, California Adventures when it first opened? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was the worst ride it ever. Was the, it only was open for like a year. Yeah. And they were like, why did we do this? It was so bad. It was so bad. And if you want, if you want to have some fun, there's ride through videos on YouTube. You can look up and, and watch the oh, original. Boy. It's, you know, it's, you know, what's funny is like they, at the end of it, they had all the paparazzi and they took your picture. Right. And then they would like show you your picture and, and I would have paid that. You couldn't buy it. You couldn't buy that picture, but I would have paid money for the picture of, of me and my group going through that ride because literally all of our faces were just at the end of it. We're like, like we're like, what the hell was that? And they, took, they take, you know, like at the end of Splash Mountain, you're like, like this was just like, what the hell did I just see? What did I live through? And I, it's like, I would have paid, I would have paid $30 for that, for a framed copy of that picture, but they, you couldn't buy it. Missed an opportunity there. <clears throat> um, me and my friends went to Disney world of when we were teenagers and uh you know space mountain and all that stuff totally great and we thought oh here's mr frogger's wild ride yeah mr. sure frogger? we're going this mr frogger <laughs> did you get and... across the street <laughs> <laughs> it's mr toad's wild ride mr. first toad's of wild all ride. thank you i rode thank on you. mr donkey kong's wild ride and um and it's a great oh, ride. I mean, oh, who doesn't yeah, want to have sorry. a children's book about them going through hell and escaping? I mean, it's beautiful. Andrew, Andrew, I fucking love whiskey. I fucking love whiskey too. I fucking love whiskey, you guys. I do. Hey, I'll finish my story if you want. Yes, please do. Please do. Sure. So Maybe. it's it's a kid's ride. It's 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 ridiculous. We thought, oh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. And then one of the very last things that happens is you turn down this train tunnel. And all of a sudden, this bright light's coming at you, like a train's coming at you. And we crapped our pants and we went, we got to go on that again. <laughs> Became my favorite ride. That's all. That's so Mr. Toad's Wild class. Ride is an awesome ride. That's an awesome ride. <clears throat> it's Mr. Sad, Toad, it's Mr. Sad. Toad. It's sad. Have you ever seen the, the, like, the actual cartoon that's based on? I don't believe I ever had, no. Great. It's sad that they no longer have that ride in Orlando, but we still have it in California, so... Hey, yeah, and then you and then you end up in hell after that, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. Trent, uh, what was your favorite ride at Universal? Becker wants to know. Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, no, we don't let past guests ask questions. What? Oh, wow. No, oh, I say we do. Okay, fine. In uh, in, uh, in specifically Universal. So if we're talking Universal, I think I have to go Spider Man ride still, but the the Harry Potter and journey is right there with it. Um, and then if we're going Disney World, oh God, that's, I mean, that's a huge list. Um, Dinosaur is amazing. Expedition Everest is amazing. Mission Space is great. Oh, it's, I haven't even read it, but Rise of the Resistance is absolutely, because that they, they have the Rise of the Resistance. No, don't, I, spoilers, I haven't been able to get on it yet. And then I, they shut, I, they shut down the park. I look, I look forward to having a conversation with you, sir. After like I've been to Disneyland several times after it was open and was unable to get onto it. So it's like, you have to get on that waiting list. You have to get there early and like go online oh. and like blip, bloop, oh, yes. doop. It's not oh, yeah. easy. We, we, I've done, I've, I've done the whole rigor, rigmarole. I know. Numerous times. It's, it's, it's an effort, but it's worth it. There's... Hello, Dr. Destro, Destrofet. Dr. Destrofet. Dr. Destrofet. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh that's we, right we both yeah. love those things too we actually yeah kelly and i kelly uh kelly and i made we had made plans to go to disneyland and we're gonna go the following friday the which ended up being like a week before they closed down they are opening 
April 1st, I believe. Well, uh, late, late, they're saying, I, I think, think they're they, saying, I think that's the plan. So park parks can parks in California can open as of April 1st, but I think Disney and other parks have said it's probably going to be more like late April when they can actually reopen. But they I are, wonder, I wonder if it'll be like crazy or if it'll be like dead. I'm well, a feeling they're, it's going to be crazy. They're going to be, be going to be limited to capacity. The one I want to go is when, if they're still in tier red, when they open, I think that's what it is. It's tier red then they can open at 15% capacity. That's what I want to go to that, but- Oh yeah, no, I will pay full price to go to like a two 15% if I've been vaccinated by then. Exactly, but but getting tickets is going to be a nightmare. It, that's going to be just like, you know- That'll the, be the lottery. Battle of Helmsworth or whatever. Like that's oh, just going to be- Oh yeah. They can sell tickets for like a thousand dollars each. Yeah. By the way, I want to I wanna just say real quick, the so the for science, um, what I thought, what I found for at least for me was adding the water like brought up the lumber, but then it mellowed everything else out, particularly on the nose. A little bit. Andrew, on the you're gonna try it. I'm gonna wait and see what Andrew says because I, I really, re Freud is my jam, and I, I'm gonna wait and see. I probably, I'll probably science it, but it's I still have so quite a bit left too. Water. So Disney World is sold out for spring break in Florida yeah, this week. That's, it's oh, a, yeah. Well, duh. I mean, with, with their limited capacity, but I think they've been running at like 25 or, or I think 35% or whatever. So Yeah, because the virus is gone, so there's no problem. It's all good. Yeah. Well, in like, Florida, I, had, I, had season, I had season passes before like the thing, this all happened. I feel like they should give you something for that, you know, but they won't. They're not going to. Yeah, they're they're doing they're doing a thing where they're like, oh, we'll offer you we're we'll continue to offer you some discounts on these things. Like, yeah, come to come to Disney Walk of Disney or whatever. Yeah, D D Disney Disney Universal Walk. <laughs> Andrew, the the peat comes out in the nose more, but I don't think it helps the taste. Yeah, I like right. it. I like it. I like this better without then I it's shall one, not. It's one of those cast strengths that's so complex and so good and has such great flavor that you don't need to, you don't need to cut it down at all. And Joseph, I forbid you from putting water in this. Okay. <laughs> you will be happier not I to accept do it. it. No, I yeah. accept that. I'm loving, I, I, I'm I, loving what this is. So I can't, I, 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 I will not forbid you, but I will, I will, I will concur with that opinion that is like, no, no, live your best life. And don't put any drops of water in this. Just just enjoy it for what it is. Speaking of, I'm going I'm going back in. I just want to say I appreciate both of you so much for both advice and commands that I have gotten from you. Yeah. And uh, thank you for having my back. And I will enjoy every drop of this, un unadded without damn, added damn, water. Damn right you will. Do you know why? Because I fucking love whiskey. Because you fucking love whiskey. Trent. Yes. I hate to get serious with you. At this oh, point. God. No, oh, no. Yes. really? Now? Oh, this, all right. Okay. All right. Here it is. All right. Bring out. This is this well, is where we get Maury Povich. Bring out the guests. I have a question that's kind of been brewing, you know, for about an hour now. I, I've been curious. Um, you've tried four whiskeys, five whiskeys, really, with the warm up. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, after doing that, do you, do you like whiskey? You know, I've done a lot of soul searching about this recently in my life. Um, it's just one of those things that with all the bad that's come with the pandemic, there has been good things that have come out of it. Times for reflection, times for meditation, times for deep thought, time for experimentation. And um, after months of spiritual and scientific research, I can say, but, and then, and, but not till, not until tonight, not until this night with this lineup and this experience, can I now say definitively, and with confidence and without question, 
everyone out there watching and to you gentlemen here. I fucking love whiskey. Hey, we fucking love Trent Trail. Thank you so much for being a guest on our show. Um, Thank you so much for having me. This is amazing. It's it's the best part of our weeks. We you know yeah. we love hanging out with people and talking and, and getting to know our guests. Um, you were, as you promised, the best and worst guest we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> love, the, love the combination of that. Um, if you and, and people at home, like if you enjoyed what you saw tonight and you want to see more of this sort of thing, please subscribe to Outpost 13. If you're a Prime member, you can do one channel for free. Make it Outpost 13. You definitely want more of this in your life. You need it. You need more of this in your life. Yeah, um, right in the veins. <laughs> and that's got the poblano notes too, right in the veins. Right in the veins. Hey, stay tuned tonight um, because Timothy Meyer is going to be doing Tales by Fire at 7.30 p.m. tonight. It's a single-player uh, role-playing game, and he makes this work. And, and Flea is in some deep doo-doo. Uh, Flea, the main character right now, um, nearly got killed last week. Didn't know how we, you know, Flea was going to get out of it, but did. So, hooray. This week, uh, new adventure. Uh, tomorrow, Trek Table at 4.30, or no, 4 o'clock, sorry. Um, uh, they're doing... Uh, they're holding space in Trek for Black, Indigenous, Brown, women of color, and our allies. And I learn something every week when I watch that. And uh, and even just in terms of uh, analysis of uh, Star Trek Discovery that I didn't know when I actually saw the episode, I was like, oh, oh, I didn't notice that. Thank you for pointing that out. It, it, it's, it's amazing stuff. Um, and then I think tomorrow there's some improv thing going on at eight o'clock. I don't know. And uh, I don't know if you want to watch that. Trent, are you doing something tomorrow night? Some there show like with a dog or something? There might be a show at 8 p.m. called The Pug Hour. I think you're unreliable because there was going to be a show tonight. <laughs> That's true. Is it really I, happening tomorrow? My, 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 uh, my credibility is under question. Way low, way low. I mean, they... I, I won't lie. After if they watch tonight's episode of this, they might be like, you know what? We never mind. I mean, <laughs> the show's canceled. Show's canceled. So my humility you know. is charming and adorable. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Everybody loves you. All right. You're amazing, Trent. I love every. Well, almost everyone. I've got a short list. <laughs> Not really anyone I know in person, but you know. But I've got a short list. Of people you love, no, that I that I don't love. Oh, oh. but I, I love I love most people. Most people, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Everyone, everyone in this room is on the love list. Zero <laughs> question. Zero question. Zero question. Um, do I have anything more to say? Oh, uh, I, you know, uh, Thad. Thank you so much for doing the tech here, and Thad. Congratulations, you're getting married next week. Yay! Congrats, buddy. Shout out to Thad for his marriage. That's a that's an amazing step. I'm I'm so happy for him. Um, I think I have other people and, to thank. And just just to be clear, they will be getting married on this show next week, right? That's I think that's like I think that's right. right that? Special event. Totally, hundred percent. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Tune in next week because you won't be seeing it. But <laughs> tune in next week. They're waiting on my invite, by the way, bud. But yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. We got we got Paul Major coming in next week. We got some great whiskeys. Um, Outpost 13, thank you so much for hosting us. Thanks for letting us be part of the community here. I really love it. Um, please subscribe. Aaron Harvey, thank you for the graphics. Cody Bushy, thank you for the bot. Uh, thank you, Trent Trail, for being our guest this week and drinking whiskey with us. Dude, thank you for having me and thank you for the amazing whiskey. Like, real talk. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. And uh, thank you, people at home for tuning in and I, and I know you're at home because like you can't go nowhere can't go nowhere we love you and enjoy your whiskey and we fucking love you and we fucking love whiskey we fucking love whiskey there's room for both there is room my heart's both. very big mm -hmm. cheers everybody dang right oh wait yeah oh no i oh, drank all mine no Trent. Oh, wait no Damn hang it. on you are the worst guest you are the worst i told you worst guest worst guest, worst guest. okay <laughs>